Guess what's behind me? And white. The Mercedes sticker on it. I love all of these dealers that own that bought their reservation in 2019, and now they mark them up and sell them for fifty thousand dollars extra, thirty thousand dollars extra. If you're gonna do white, you gotta do it like that famous football player did and make everything white. The tow hitch cover, everything, all of that ABS plastic, you gotta cover it all in white. If you're gonna do white, you gotta do the whole thing, except for the light bar on the back, of course. But it's funny, I was talking to a big old boy, tow truck driver, and you know, like a typical white guy, going, uh, yeah, them cyber trucks, they ain't much, man. See, there's already one that somebody traded in for a Ford. I'm like, no, ding dong. The dealership bought it for a hundred grand and then he's selling it for 140 grand. They ordered it in 2019 for a hundred bucks. Now they drive it around off hours when it's slow and they have fun and they're gonna sell it and make a better profit margin but he really thought, you know, he's actually thought somebody traded one in for a Ford. Unbelievable. So that one's got a Mercedes dealership sticker on it. And then you say, somebody else also said, but you can't resell them because Tesla's going to find you $50,000, blah, blah, blah. And that's a thing. Uh, it'll go away in a couple years. But right now, it's... To, in other words, it's to profit from anybody that's going to reverse engineer it. And 50 grand to buy one and tear it apart and reverse in engineer it or whatever, sell it, that, or to gouge it or price gouging or 50 grand penalty, all right. But anyway, um, the other thing is somebody said, well, you know, so many people are doing it, how are they getting all right? If you're, if you owned a dealership and you had this corporation and you incorporated this name and you incorporated that name and you incorporated this business and you buy it and then you sell it to that corporation then you sell it to that by the time they find an actual person I, I don't think you know I don't know but in a year or two years we'll find out what happens but I don't think but that's how those dealerships are getting around it's not any one personal individual gonna get fined or sued or whatever for that or taken to court it's gonna be some corporation it's gonna be a nameless identity 